Hello, this is Oliver reporting for Wee Wee Blogs live at SRF's headquarters here in Zurich, where we just uh, saw the video for the Swiss song in Eurovision 2020. And kindly, the head of delegation, Reto Peritz, has offered to talk to us. So uh, thank you for offering to talk to us, first of all. And uh, going back to 2019, uh, what was it like sitting through the results and uh, ending with such a good result in the end as well? It was amazing sitting next to Luca Henny and enjoying the televotes coming in and, and the jury votes. So it was really an amazing year for the Swiss delegation. We put a lot of effort and work in it, also in the selection process. And uh, at the end, to have a good good result is really like the pay for everything. And it was uh, amazing for the whole delegation. Definitely, yeah. And moving then back to this year, what was your first impression when you heard the song uh, for the first time? Yeah. I heard it the first time in, in July, I think, or in June, in summer, when we did a songwriting camp in Switzerland. Mm -hmm. And uh, there were, have been like uh, 50 people in the listening session. And there have been people crying while the song was played. And uh, people was really touched and had a lot of emotions. So I knew right from the beginning that this would be a potential song for us. Mm -hmm. Of course, um, we did the whole selection with uh, 515 songs. And that uh, Répondez-Voix is our lucky winner uh, this year is really amazing. I think it's also good that we don't have uh, like a She Got Me 2.0 this year to show that uh, Switzerland is really diverse in music and we have a lot to offer also to Eurovision. Definitely. And Switzerland has switched its selection methods a few years ago. What do you think is the main reason why there was such a big improvement uh, from the national selection then to an internal one? I think it's uh, because we do a lot of market research in different countries all over Europe and um, in other countries as well. So we know a little bit right from the beginning what could work and, and what couldn't work. And before this selection process, we had the national final in Switzerland. So it was always, always the Swiss televoters who voted for something. And now to have this international view right from the beginning, mm -hmm. to have really market research with uh, a lot of data as well is really uh, helpful for us to do the right decision. Definitely. And would you ever, if the interest is there, consider going back to a national final or you, is that not really on your agenda at the moment? Uh, at the moment, uh, Swiss National Television, we have a lot of uh, budget cuts. So it's, it's, uh, for the moment, it's really difficult to do a national final money-wise. Uh, of course, we would love to do it, but I think uh, this method we have now with uh, the selection process, with the, the viewing panel and also the international uh, expert panel, it's really a good way to do it. Definitely. And Switzerland has been slowly rising in the odds. And does that add some pressure also to follow Luca Henny as well from fourth place? Yes, there is a lot of pressure, of course. But I'm, I'm really sure that with this song, that is not like a ballad, it's really a special a special song. It's a very special artist. Mm -hmm. And we're going to do a very special staging that is not like a classical ballad staging. I'm sure that this, this performance will stand out completely and we will have a good result this year as well. Definitely. And some lighter questions. Uh, I know you have to have some degree of neutrality, but have you listened to any of the other songs this year or have any favorites perhaps? I don't have favorites uh, at the moment, but I listen to a few songs, not all. Um, I wait on, normally I wait until the head of delegation meeting that mm -hmm. will take place next week, and then uh, when we have all the songs, I listen to them, and uh, yeah, I will make my opinion by then. And uh, favorite Swiss entry, perhaps, just out of the whole contest, maybe? I think it's uh, for Switzerland. Luca Henny, she got me. It was really one of my personal favorites. And when I was younger, when I was a child, it was Céline Dion, mm -hmm. Ne Partez Pas Sans Moi. It's an all-time favorite. Yeah. And uh, yeah, hopefully this year with a French song, we can do a good result as well. Hopefully as well. Thank you very much and the best of luck as well. Thank you.